Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So today I will be playing between the trophy range of 5300 to 5600 and I just will try to give you guys tips on how to play with under level hawk cycle and how to cross from challenger 2 to challenger 3. So in these trophy ranges there are a lot of weird decks and uh, which Mega Knight, Wizard, Valk and these kind of cards are quite very much popular and uh, here we need to keep one thing in mind and that is we have to save elixir as uh, our opponent will always try to spam all of his card on the bridge and uh, they will just like play a no brainer game so we have to be patient whenever we are using our cards so that we can cross this trophy range the player around this trophy range are quite aggressive with their cards as you can see elite bar is one of their favorite cards and uh, mega knight is another favorite one and even i consider mega knight elites are the cards which are made only for mid ladder after recent nerf of mega knight i thought its uses will go down but uh, in mid ladder it's still persisting and even player are using uh, mega knight now also so here i will just try to push with my hog as you can see i have a level 12 hog and uh, the opponent have almost all maxed out cards so here you can see that i have a level 12 fireball as well so i will log valkyrie and his wizard so here he used his uh, minion horde which was a smart play by him so i think he will not freeze now he is playing some weird deck with uh, elite wizard uh, valk freeze and i think he don't have any winning condition as he will just try to uh, counter push me every time so here i'm just uh, logging all the skeleton army so here he put down his elite to take out my hall so now i will kite his elite and he just uses his freeze and i think uh, our musky will be able to take out his elite as he just wasted his freeze which is a four elixir so now i will just uh, counter push with my hog here i will log and fireball his wizard as well as uh, skeleton army i think our musky will get okay so he used his uh, uh, minion horde sorry so now i will again push with my hog as he is just wasting his uh, freeze here i will just spam my emote laughing goblin emote which is quite annoying so let's try one thing i will try to cycle three logs i think three logs will be sufficient to take out his tower so let's start with it now so i will fireball his valkyrie and elite so i think now i will use my first log so let's go so here first log and he just uh, spam his wizard and he also spammed his uh, skeleton army so i will fireball it so he uses his uh, freeze which was quite surprising for me <laughs> So now I will again use another log. So let's see. Now I will only need one log to finish it. So it's already here. So now I will log and finish the game. So GG's to Shivaji. And uh, this is it guys. Now we will move on to next match. And uh, in these trophy ranges, always be ready to get surprised by your opponent. Cause they can run any deck. Like uh, there is no sense in these decks. They can run even Skeleton Giant in the same deck, Mega Knight in the same deck, uh, even like Electro Giant on the same deck. So here I'm just jumping into the another match and this is uh, the first match I think I have started pushing uh, for the video. So I think it, at this time I was at uh, 5300 range. So let's see. So I will put down my cannon for his Mega Knight and you can see that he have a max Mega Knight and... Uh, to defend this Mega Knight, we have to invest more Elixir than him. Uh, the main problem in these uh, matchups are that they always get positive Elixir trade. As uh, you, you know that we have to invest more and more Elixir to defend. So opponent is always getting uh, positive Elixir trade. Which can be a very difficult situation for us in the long run of this match. So here I am very low in Elixir right now. And you can see that... I'm, I'm waiting for my elixir to fill so that I can push with my hog. 
but he just dropped his valkyrie from the back but i will go with my hog on that same side as i, I have just got some damage on that part so he was late in his cannon placement and uh, now i will just put down my electro spirit and i will also use my log to just push the witch a little bit back and i think uh, i don't need to put down my musky so i will just wait for his cannon to okay so he also used his dark prince his dark prince of is of level 13 so i will put down my musky he will fireball the musky and i will just put down my hog he have a level 14 fireball which can take out my musky on one shot so here he is getting positive elixir trade from that fireball as well as he get to hit my tower and my musky as well so here he is pushing with the valkyrie and skelly which is a weird push so now let's see i will start from the back and i think he is back to mega knight i will kite his dark prince with my ice golem pushing with my hog on the right and i don't know why he used his fireball but that results in the low elixir which didn't allow him to put down his cannon on time so that's a plus point for us so i will just log his cannon and tower which is a value for us now i will just uh, put my hog and i think his cannon will get a shot on our hog and i think he just uh, forfeit the match so i will just spam all the cards and uh, that's it guys so ggs to him and let's jump into another match so let's just search for another match and we have got a match and we are up against ahmed from palestine 99 i will start with scallies from the back and i will just try to get my hog on the first hand so let's see what he is playing so he just dropped his valk from the back on the right side and i will use my musky for his valkyrie so let's see now he just dropped his uh, prince so he is using valkyrie prince okay he also have hog so i will put down my cannon for his hog this was not a good cannon placement but it will work for now so let's see now i will do counter push with my hog and ice golem so let's see what he have i think he have mega knight and he will probably yeah he just dropped his mega knight but it's good that he didn't have level 14 mega knight so i'm low in elixir right now and i will put down my musky and i will try to distract his mega knight and this was not a good skeleton placement i could have surround mega knight with my skelly but uh, it will work for now guys uh, so here i think mega knight will be okay he jumped into my musky which was quite uh, good for him and here he is uh, which just took out my musky or else i could have like done the counter push so he is coming up with his valk and hog at the bridge and i think uh, musky and cannon will be sufficient his hog should not get any shot onto my tower so let's see so i will now try to do a counter push but i'm low in elixir right now so i will not send my hog and i will wait for his play so he just put down his mega knight and if i could have done uh, like push with my hog so i could have been in a very big trouble because he could have gotten so much of value with his mega knight but still his bats are like uh, doing the damage so i will distract his mega knight once again oh he but it just jumped towards my tower left side tower but i will ignore that and let's see so our hog get couple of shot which is good and his mega knight took down my tower to 1402 now i think uh, he will try to push from the left side because he have got a lot of damage on that side tower so i will now defend on the left side and let's see how he will defend this hog he put down his prince but i think he is back to his mega knight okay so he is pushing with mega knight and prince from the right side but i will put down my cannon on the left side because uh, if he push with hog on that side so i can defend it but he uses his uh, lightning and his lightning got quite a good value because he was able to hit uh, my princess tower and uh, a cannon as well as musky here fireballing his witch but uh, 
due to her level it survived somehow but musky took out his witch and here i will put down my cannon for his hog and i will log his prince and hog so that it can take out by my cannon so now i think i will just be needing two fireball and uh, that's it guys gg's to ahmed now i need one more fireball to finish this match and uh, i am already back to it so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, just keep in mind all the tips which i have given to you in to cross uh, this uh, trophy range and uh, if you like the video hit the like button if you want to show your support subscribe to the channel do comment down below what you guys want to see next and uh, thanks for watching take care and bye bye guys